can say I'm wondering why they refused to have, look to uh, they refused Jacob Zuma's request where Jacob Zuma wanted his look his hearing to be public he wanted his hearing to be heard by everybody he wanted his hearing uh to be aired you know imagine je uh, just imagine us uh watching this uh the the the, here, the public hearing between Jacob Zuma and the ANC live and the ANC refused and i've got my suspicions as to why they refused it right i've got my suspicions and i'm going to tell you why i say that but in an article that was written by business day um the article says ANC refused Jacob Zuma's call for public a disciplinary hearing. The ANC National Disciplinary Committee granted the postponement requested by Zuma to 23rd of July, but they don't want it to be heard by everybody. Uh, I, I must also say that I must also say that it was very. It, 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 look, we, we we would have seen the ANC for who they are, and that's one of the reasons why. They wouldn't have allowed people to listen to. They wouldn't have allowed people to listen to them live. They wouldn't have been dirty. They wouldn't have tried any dirty tricks. And that's the only reason. But if you are talking about, if you are talking about the interest of or, 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 the, the, look, the public interest, so far as Zuma and ANC is concerned. It meets all the criteria in terms of it being broadcasted. Even if it's broadcasted on Facebook, not by SAPC1, not by ETV, not by Newsroom Africa, not by any official media houses. Uh, it, it, but the bottom line is that if it was broadcasted, there will be people, majority of people will be watching that and they will be reacting to that. So it has, it meets this criteria of it being equivalent to an issue worth of being televised for the sake of the public, not to be told by somebody who decides that we don't want to report on this, but we want to report on this. We don't want to report this way, we want to report it that way. It would have made a lot of sense if it was broadcasted, but it hasn't, they, they, they refused. Clearly, they are saying it's not a matter of public interest. Once you hear people saying that, it, it's a cause for concern. But with me, I'm going to tell you this. There's, I, I, I also have a cause or a reason for concern, and this is what concerns me. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let's read this article it says Duma did not show up for his virtual hearing on wednesday in which he faces disciplinary action after he was charged with misconduct for campaigning for rival MK party in May election. Zuma was represented by ANC member Tony Yengen in the hearing to convey, to convey a message that um, he preferred physical hearing. MK party spokesperson Lamulon Lela said Zuma wanted the hearing to be open to the public for transparency and accountability. That is something that I've already covered to say. I don't think they would have loved that because they don't get to play their dirty tricks. He remained of the view that this, I quote, 
circumstances uh, look uh, circumstances the hearing should not only be uh, physical but also open for the public open to the public those who have nothing those who have got nothing to hide must live up to the right and the values are enshrined in the constitution says unsel again raising another important issue if you've got nothing to hide why would you refuse the hearings to be had live you know what i'm saying the ANC National Disciplinary Committee granted the postponement requested by Zuma to July 23. A second pre-hearing conference will be held virtually on the 18th of July. Uh, Zuma is happy to have been granted this opportunity. In, in the meantime, he will consult his representative or local and other stakeholders before making a decision on the cause of actions, right? NC spokesperson Zugo Kolimpi said while the party agreed to postponement, the hearing will not be look will will not be public or physical. Neither the pre-hearing nor conference nor the disciplinary hearing will be open to the public or the media. A verdict will be announced once the committee has received and re look reviewed all the argument we cannot set specify the timeline for this process as it depends on uh, it depends on the scope of the deliberation and the issue under consideration says e anc there you have it guys but i also said that in the end that the blood hearing was initially scheduled for may at Lutuli House in person, but was postponed to July 17 virtually due to concerns raised over possible clashes between the ANC and the MK party members leading up to the election. We all know okay, Ugutu, why they opted for that, which I honestly don't believe that it was it, 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 it has, or it had anything to do with the elections itself, but I think it had any, everything to do with the fact that uh, the brand ANC would have been easily swallowed by the brand MK party. They realized that hey, we are dealing with people here. We are very good in strategizing and coming up with plans, um, plans that will look will, will 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 make the brand ANC look very small. So, upon realizing upon realization of that, they kind of felt like, nah, you know what? We're not gonna do that. We just not gonna do that. And they did what they did. With that being said. Uh, they are saying that e they are saying that e e e look e they are saying that the hearing is going to be virtual that's number one number two uh they hear you look you're not going to be allowed to you're not going to be allowed to be there on oh we're not going to get access to these things number three the media itself it won't be allowed number four they will announce the decision they will announce the decision in other words whatever they say becomes the truth but what if in the process it was not fair i think we might see U jacob zuma we might see abu jacob zuma uh challenging this we might see our look at this ending up in court to say if it was a matter of public interest then you know, this should have been, you know what I'm saying, it should have been, uh, I mean, sorry, if they say, they will say that they will look, looking at the ANC members together with the, the look at the MK party, they will, they might say that this is a matter of public interest. I think from MK party perspective, they might say, this is a matter of, e, this is a matter of e, e, look, e, e public interest. Therefore, if it is a matter of public interest, just like when the when the, when the court ruled that Jacob Zuma uh, must reveal or every look Jacob Zuma's details about SARS and everything must be revealed in public, they they look at the court cited that it is the it is the it is at the public it is the interest of the public that this must be done right. Funny enough, they, but they get to Ramaphosa and they said no. Nope, that must remain sealed. Now deviating from the actual presidents they have already said. So I'm saying based on that judgment, it just makes a lot of sense to see EMK party pursuing this on a legal grounds to say this is a matter of public interest and therefore it must be treated as such. Nothing more, nothing less. So my my interest is what we what 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 do you think when do you think do you think that we deserve to know what is happening behind the curtain? Because that's what Jacob Zuma is basically saying, that I know. 
you deserve to know what is happening behind the curtain. So what do you think? I'm interested to hear that in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear you telling me what you think about this.